An elf? What kind of elf are you looking for? Shipping manifest. I think I lost it. Well, then you can't bring your goods in. Viscount's rules, not mine. You should take credit for those rules. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. <laughs> I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. <laughs> I'm Adam, the harbor master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a legion cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. They say your life flashes in front of your eyes before you die. You're not gonna kill me in broad daylight. No one's that stupid. <laughs> Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse, by the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Oh, oh. Do you know anything about the mage underground? Look at all the elves. I was betting like twenty silver, not two freaking gold that's a hell of a lot there's someone coming tell the others this is private property what are you guarding imported goods who owns this warehouse master woodrow i suppose it's rented storage space Let's see what's behind that door. Uh, no visitors allowed. I must have taken a wrong turn. Be off with you then. Well, there's no other way in there that except to murder them. Or I could try going in at night. Although the, the captains are here. What's it? Hmm. I said this is private property. You're in my way. We're under attack. Yes, you are. Well, okay then. Murder them all. Yeah. 
I saw the fire uh, option, but I was gonna do it at next, but they it went away after I did it, which sucks. <laughs> fire! Obviously they were evil since I could kill them, so I don't feel bad. I swear I've been in this this house a thousand times so far. Oh my god, this exact room. So many times. Yeah, I've been in this exact room probably three times now. Yeah, we're only in the first year, too. <laughs> yeah, reused assets to electric bungalow. Yes. Ambush. Oh yeah. How shocking. Chain lightning. Hell yeah. Freeze. Oh! Nailed his ass to the wall. How about the villain? Get him. <laughs> All right, not too bad. Sometimes things just go really fast, and that's good. <laughs> uh, pinning shots for assassins? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Man, I feel like I've been in this room already. At least four times. Oh, dear God! <laughs> God, that's one hell of a trap. Maybe, Varric, you should walk in front, because you can detect traps quicker than anyone else. Hmm. Yeah, just walk it off, and we'll be fine. I didn't know you could go down here. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my... That's 100 XP. Ooh, the black hand. A blend. 27 toxic plant essences with a healthy dollop of cobra venom for that extra kick. That poison will kill a man in two breaths. Can I have it? Uh, no. You may not, Isabella. 
Although I do need to give you the poisons. <laughs> Looks like that's the last one. Let me get out of here now. We got all the loot. Uh oh. Faded already, jeez. Got him out of stealth. Hell yeah. I love when we get those those crits. The crit on our uh, combos are just really, really OP. In for like 800 with Chain Lightning. Uh, people were saying that Isabella was in the first Dragon Age game, but her appearance changed a lot. I don't know if that's true, but... So what's with that magical fisting thing you do? <laughs> um, sorry? <laughs> you know, when you stick your hand into people. <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, a <laughs> talent. You could make so much coin with that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, lady. <laughs> she is just... She has no qualms about saying anything. Oh, let's go talk to somebody real fast. I enjoy a man with markings like that. You've enjoyed many. Not made of lyrium, I'd imagine. <laughs> Not a one. And the pictures are different. Usually breasts. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. That's me. I'm a helper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Guess what I found? Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate every noble in Orlais, and then some. I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look, there's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. Hmm. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I need the gold. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. All right, buddy. Ooh, Isabella like that and Varric. Hmm. Goody Two Shoes, uh, what's her name, would have been like. Yeah, poison. Yeah. They don't like that. Why can't you just follow the law? Nah. Like, whatever. Freaking Abilene. Never lets us have fun. 
Welcome to the best little tavern in Kirkwall. What's the word on the street? You hear about the Isle of Redcliffe. Some say Andraste herself reached down and cured him so he could unite the land. Tip for now. Thanks. I should go. Anytime. Fenric doesn't seem to give a shit about any of this stuff. He's just like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Let's go see what mail we have. What am I, your servant? There's a letter for you on the desk. <sighs> Hawk, if you're looking for work, there's a rich merchant in Hightown who's got trouble with his mining operation. If you haven't heard of the Bone Pit, the locals say it's cursed. I don't put much stock into it, but I had to turn down the job because of marchers and my crew making the rest superstitious. Uh, go speak with Hubert Batier, Batier in Hightown Market if you're interested. Moran. Loose ends. Hawk, I take back everything I said about your, blight, your blighted family. You were right. You, you were the best we ever had. If you're looking for honest work and good coin, come see me low town. I'll keep you busy for a while. Hell yeah. I like free work. Well, not free work. I like doing work. Hmm. I'm sure the mines will be just fine. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. This group make us been pretty good so far. Fenris, Isabella, and Beric. I'm digging it. Well, let's go talk to him about the Boon Pit. So you freed a of slaves? Would be slaves. They weren't slaves yet. Still, you did the right thing. Many would turn a blind eye. Don't read too much into it, all right? It just seemed a good idea at the time. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Hmm. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. Yeah. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The Bone Pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The Bone Pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. Hmm. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Well, that shows how much money you're making versus how much you're paying. You're ripping them off. Tome of Physical Technique. A talent or spell. 21 gold, though. Mm. God, they're just so expensive. Ugh. Why are they so expensive? You want daggers? 
Yeah, that's capitalism, but still, though, it's like. So in one day, so he makes in one day what he pays them for years of work, or a year, all the year work. It's like, hmm. Hawk is basically Batman without a cowl. He's Dan Bat. Hmm. I couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Huh, I see. Uh, well, uh, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her uh, death. Especially with her family asking questions. No, they're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. <laughs> Hey, Franz. Well, thank you for the money. I need a drink. Amen, sister. Amen. Sell them. Nature damage, electricity damage, cold. Hmm. Probably good to have one of each type, just in case. Fire damage. Enemies drop better equipment. Hmm. No. No one else can wear this stuff except me. <laughs> what are the robes? Fire damage? Well, if we get some fire spells, I might be able to use that. <laughs> Sell junk? What do you need, my good friend? Let's see what your son can do. Get ready, chat. Enchantment! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my. Enchantment! Enchantment, Dan C. <laughs> I mean, now the prude lady's gone. Let's see if we can have sex with the elf. <laughs> so this relic you mentioned losing. You have pretty eyes. Back again. Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? Aww. I'm sorry to say that Nanette was killed. Killed? Why would anyone hurt that darling woman? This is horrible. Thank you for letting me know. Please... Please excuse me. Aww, I'm sorry, buddy. That sucks. Hmm. Oh well. Sabrina's brat? 
she a hoe? I'll get your order in a minute. They say the College of Magi in Cumberland is up to... Ferelden, are you? We are not a charitable organization, Sarah. If you cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. Is that clear? Disgusting. Two sovereigns for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. Fifty silver, and someone may touch you. Briefly. Um... Take your coins. Very well. The ladies and gentlemen are in the lounge. Make your choice and go upstairs. I'll, I'll take the cheap service. Let's see. Sabrina. Sir Million. Leonardo. There's only three? Well. Hmm. There's only one woman. Okay, well, let's let's further elf human relations. Why don't we go play Slay the Dragon? <laughs> Slay the Dragon. <laughs> I'll slay your dragon. <laughs> yeah, Bethany would probably Touch be like, eww. Don't. Just like, uh, the guard lady. Forever. How dare you! I am guard captain! I won't be treated like this! Ferelden, bitch! This was none of your <gasps> affair! I'll see you hanged! Quartered! This will not stand! We found a number of debts to suspect peoples. Such poor character. But you, Aveline Valen, have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. The Viscount would have you put your care for the men into direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. What? In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this embarrassment? Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. Good job. Now she won't be in my business. Ah. I'm with you. Fine day, Sarah. Do you mind if we uh, rob the place? Is that cool? You know, as a friend. Hmm. Well, if we have the captain of the guard in our squad, then I think we're good. I'm with you. We should move on. Wait, what? Fine day, Sarah. I see she has a quest, but then I go in there and she doesn't anymore. Always where you need. Hmm. Well then, okay then. How much longer do I have to wait? Forever, this is bureaucracy. Actually, probably if I put her my party to work. <coughs> I'm with you. <clears throat> if I put her over here, she'll work. Hello. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain, or you will be. It'll be easy. 
I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. <laughs> you can't deny the hairy chest. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not? What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man. A good one. And he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. Mm. You clearly miss Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him. But he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him. But I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. no. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I put him to the sword myself, Hawk. Well, there is that. I know in my head that it was right. So did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. No, he wanted it, though. I could get used to having the law on my side. You'll behave yourself, is what you'll do. I just sent Jevon to prison over corruption. I won't go the same road. You never let me have any fun. <laughs> I think that's best for everyone. <laughs> it's good that you can stay with me. I need you, Aveline. You've been grand through all of this. A true friend. Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be. Aww. But she she called me a true Find friend. <sighs> Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. After I said that she's cute, she's like, "You're a great." friend you're a, a good uh friend so let's not you know yeah so let's not go too far into that <sighs> five per counter attack hmm Hmm, immovable might be okay. We'll try immovable. <laughs> we'll try that. Well, let's see. I can't have every one of her things be a... She can't channel everything. Just be too many abilities. <laughs> Less damage. Frontal attacks. Well, shield defense has to stay on for threat. 10% defense. Messiah, mm. please stop kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like Two that? Hits. You bloody peasant. The guard will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. Hmm. Five seconds per. It's going to be two hits to. Ha! 
guess she can have all three up for some major defense. She just won't have very many active abilities to do. Okay. Self. Any. Activate mode. Movable. Actually, self. Surrounded by enemies, at least. Being attacked by melee attack, immovable. <laughs> Taunt. We always want that on self. Any turn the blade should always be on. Taunt, taunt. Enemy nearest visible. Bash. Self. Um, stamina. Less than 25%. Usability bolster. Yeah, Aveline can get some serious defense. She can defend a lot. The only problem with Aveline is she's a goody two shoes. And if, you're, if you do the bad options or demand money, she's like, I don't like that. I'm like, whatever. Aveline. Hmm. Secret rendezvous. Loose ends. Yeah, I'll have to give her some more will for some more stamina. But the only thing she really has to cast is uh, that, which is a bit. <laughs> yeah, we can leave her home when we're going to make questionable choices about stuff. Hello there. Well, if it ain't my favorite new citizen, what are you doing here? A good question. Did you finally figure out being free and poor in Kirkwall ain't worth a rat spit? You had an offer for me. You mean you're not too good for my kind of work? Because the blokes I hired after you couldn't find their ass with both hands. I sent them to take out Lord Harriman while he was preparing his cargo for shipping. Nighttime, docks, simple. Never came back. Hmm. I haven't heard a job in this yet. The job's the same. Kill Harriman. But there'll be a bonus if you find my men alive. I assume this isn't personal. Jobs paid for second hand by some other old Kirkwall family. The nobles here like to shank each other for sport. We're just their knives. Who's Lord Harriman? I don't know the who, but the what is old and rich. Rumor says he's a savvy one. His daughters give him marriage ties to half the city. I'm sure I can finish what they started. They were supposed to ambush him at the docks. That'd be the best place to start looking. And remember, Harriman dead, my lad Gustav alive. Other way around, then you don't get paid. Okay, Avalon didn't bitch about it, thank God. I thought for sure she was going to start bitching about us attacking people and doing assassination missions, but thankfully she was like, you know what? That's cool. I'm like, thank you. That is cool. Um, Act 2 and 3 are amazing. What are you talking about? They're not, they're not rushed at all. 
They're great. Hmm. Well, the Boon Pit. Wilmod's Camp, Abandoned Ruins. Not sure if I'm serious. Oh, I'm always serious. I'm serious at all, at all times. Do, do. I've never lied about anything ever. Get ready, buddy. <laughs> hmm. Well, you're kind of in trouble, buddy. If you guys don't start focus fire, I got something. Casual 400. You call it a fight. Snuff it. Out of your element, dwarf. No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though, you're what a man needs a skilled enthusiast. You can start making sense any time now. My manners. Javaris Tintop, merchant and investor. I need forward thinkers to help court the Kunari. Court the Kunari? Make her think of the children. <laughs> Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I felt it sting. Their ships fire thunder. Hmm. I just realized that Isabella is not wearing pants. So it's some kind of Kunari magic. What use is that to a dwarf? If it is magic, it's a kind you can assemble, and dwarves do that very well. But that Arishak, he won't deal. Said I have the same mercenary disease as their outcasts, the Talvashoth. He says I'm not worthy, but he had this look in his eyes. So I figure I'll hire some blades and... And you're going to prove yourself by killing Talvashoth outlaws. Problem being, I'm no warrior, but I can pay. I like being paid. Some could say being paid is the prime of my life. Your people must have something like that already. I twitch at Small the idea. Small things shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. Uh, problem after problem. What's the point, when we already have magic that can do the same thing? Maybe you have magic, all tough and human and whatnot. But what of the common man? How does he remove stumps from his land, or produce them on his enemies? What does he do when he needs a hole far too fast? Magic is hard to market. But this stuff, this stuff you can put in a bag. Hmm. All right, I'll step in for you. For a price. I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. I like money. 
Abilene, so ah, she's so rude. What's her? Um, she gets plus ten percent damage resistance though. Hmm. She's so. Hmm. I know she just like I can't do anything without her being like. That's illegal. That you're doing it for money. Yeah, I wish, I wish she was a little more lenient. She's just such a buzzkill. That's the great, good word for it. She's a buzzkill. She's like, you're doing this something for money? Ew, gross. I'm offended. Like, whatever. Whatever. Like, Isabella and... Ab like, it seems like if you gain points with Isabella, you lose them with Aveline, and vice versa. I think that's it. Dalish still here? Or are they gone? Hmm. She accepts payments and honor. Yeah, Dalish are still chilling here. Just doing Dalish shit. Long touch. Now shall I use some long touch? <laughs> hmm. It's actually a really good shield, even better than the band's back door. Dalish crafting. We'll give that to Aveline. God, her weapon sucks. Although she doesn't really do much damage. You've returned. Is there something you need? Do you have any pure iron bark in stock? What use is iron bark to you? I've never met a Shem who could bend it to his will. Either way, I'm out of stock. I do know where it can be found, but it is impossible to retrieve. Our people were forbidden from venturing to the area after we lost two of our best hunters there. What's the problem? Maybe I can give you a hand dealing with it. I find it insulting that you think you would succeed where we could not. What? The place is overrun by Darkspawn. If we tried to eradicate them, we would risk the precious few hunters we have left. I'll show you where the area is. What you do with the information is up to you. Don't what an asshole. Like that. You'll cut off your thumb. You've returned. Is there something you need? I don't need anything right now. Of course. Why are they such assholes to the sh to us humans? Ah, it makes me so mad. Hmm. Your step, Shem. I know, you like try to just say something to them and they're all like, <gasps> How dare you? How dare you ask a question? My honor, sir.
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a lunch break. I'll be back in an hour. When I come back, I'll play some more of this game and get further into it. Thank you guys for being awesome, amazing people, every single one of you. You guys are awesome again.